When my uncle and cousin recently invited me on a trip up to Melville Island in the Northern Territory, I think I'd said yes before they even finished the sentence. It's been a long time since I fished the tropical north of Australia, and I was just itching to get up there and chase some of our magnificent native fish. We flew commercial to Darwin, then transferred to a small plane that we affectionately dubbed the Flying Pie Oven due to its apparent lack of air vents. It's all part of the experience, of course, and the views were magnificent, but it sure felt great to land at Millicarpity International Airport. We met some interesting locals, like Lady Gaga, an albino water buffalo who'd adopted a local family and seemed to think that she was a dog. There was another character hanging around too, whose name we didn't know, but we're pretty sure he knew ours, along with our every movement and habit. Here we are guys, Melville Island, heading to the boat ramp for the first day. Let's hope we get a few. Melville Island Lodge is owned by the local community and is very professionally run by Tiwi Island's Adventures. The lodge has exclusive rights to fish the local creeks, so you won't find them crawling with other anglers. There you are. And we're off. Thank you. On our first day, we were setting out to fish Snake Bay, chasing mainly Fingermark, Jacks and Barra. How do you feel about standing here? No drama. <clears throat> so where am I aiming for? Well, you got, so you've got timber structures, so you want to get right up in the back where all those... In the roots back are, of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, at the face of it, but right up the back of the log where that, all that structure's coming up. Yeah. Like that. So you want to be right on the beginning of that. Right, right at the face of it, which is up the back of that log. So if you... Oh, jerk or, jerk or? Did you get a hit? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's good. So right up in that bag. Have a look at this. <clears throat> well, if we can't get him out. <clears throat> it's getting a bit closer. Yeah, yeah, you're getting there. You're getting there. Oh. I had a touch. Yeah, there's, a, there's a, something's hit it. Do what with it? He's touching it. So you still got to get a little bit further up. You literally want to be on the sticks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so that's the distance. Much closer to it than that, Steve. <laughs> oh, oh, yep. Get a hit? Yep. Little touch. Yeah. Just nice. a tiny little one. Not very big. He wasn't really committing to it, though. Mm. He was just nipping at the tail. And touches. Oh, get a bump. I did, yeah. Very good, nice. Yeah. The current's pushing right to left. Yep. Got him? Yep. Well done. Still got him? Yep. What have we got? Good fish, Barrow, there. I think. <coughs> Good fish, mate. Ah, oh, no, it's only a little. Ah, uh, finger mark. Finger mark. Finger mark. <coughs> oh. <laughs> That's a little bad thing. Ah, <laughs> oh, so where can I grab this with these pliers? What am I looking at here? Oh, mate, just just around the shank of the hook there. Oh, there yep. it is. Yeah. Yep. It's barbless, so it should just slip out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, fly fish in one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that right hand edge is the one because yeah. the current's pushing onto it from that yeah. side. Yeah. 
<clears throat> oh, nice ball. Just back further. Just back yeah, further. Back yeah. towards the roots. Oh, yeah. You want to be up in there for sure. But the same. So with that tide pushing in, yeah. you'll get a pressure wave at the front over here. Yeah. So that's not a bad spot to have a try as well. All right. Turn around, go spin it around so that you got. That yeah, you're throwing out that. You can throw either way, but okay. yeah. Depending on how much. Yep, I'm on. You got one? Yep. Nice. All right, let's see. Not ready. What have we got? Jack. No, another no, finger mark. <clears throat> These are the guys that we get out on the reef, the big fellas. Yeah. Mm. Beautiful big fish. See the way that tree's lying, so you know you've got structure coming out from that bank. Yeah. So you've got structure from that oh. left bank on. Does that look like you give you a bit then? About to pick up the cast. Yeah. Just... Up there? Yeah. Over the tree. Yeah, yeah. It's all right. Where is he now? There he is. All right. Okay, with this bloke, now can I have a go for you, mate? Is that all right? Yeah. yeah. See how you got him swinging in and out like yep. that? Yeah. You got it? Yeah, I'm on. A bit better fish? Slightly. Not huge. Nearly got it right through. Another finger mark. Oh, no, it's that. Where's the jacket here? No, finger mark. I'll just get that one off. Yeah. Just watch his fingers there, Alright, nice. Oh, bite, bite. Deep in that little bucket part of this side of the tree. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Paul. Got him. There you go. Good fish. Better than what I've caught so far. That's a jack. That's a jack, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's your mangrove. Yeah, you got your little one. I'll get your little one. I'll get this bike on. Okay. <coughs> oh. Missed another one. Fish it a bit slow and deep through that bucket there. That's where I'm, I'm going to need to bite. <clears throat> Put your arm. Yep. Got him. Are you, oh, are you? No, you're not. <laughs> you got another finger mark. Geez, that thing, the finger mark, like that. Hey. Hey. Right, mate. Same deal with you. Got the face of the snag, yeah? Yep. That's a better fish. Oh, yeah, I'm on a better fish now, too. <clears throat> That's a much better fish. Let's see how we go. You guys got each other? No. No? Okay. He's swimming around this bloke a bit, isn't he? Yeah, this is a better one. Not massive, but yeah. better than the others. That's a barrow, isn't it? Oh, that's a jack. Yeah, and yours a finger. <coughs> Two jacks for you. That's it. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that's a finger. Good. That's a decent fish, guys. Look at that. Yeah, for him. Beautiful finger mark. Yeah. Okay, 
guys. Just on a little bend back. A little tan and white bend back. Again, Paul? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matt, is that a jack or a finger? Yeah, uh, I think it's a finger mark. They go well at that size, don't they? Yeah. So st straight down there, look. Paul's on again? Yeah. Straight down there. Right down there and over the log. Yeah. Yep. Just so give it to it. Log. Yeah, doesn't matter if you go over it, but it'll pull over. Just pull it over slowly. That's a jack, isn't it? No, nah, not Another finger mark. <clears throat> Is it stacked up in there, are they? No, stacked up. We'll give it a couple more minutes and it might go. There you go, Dave's on. Yep. Well done. As you can see here, the action was fast and furious. The fish weren't huge, but they pulled really well and it was a hell of a lot of fun. We decided it was time to pull stumps though and go and see if we could find some barra. Yes, he's on. You got him? Yep, you got him. Good man. Still got him? Yep. We did see some barra, but they decided they weren't going to play the game for us. At one point, Paul went to pull what he thought was a little bit of weed off the end of his lure. Unfortunately for him, it ended up being a tentacle off a jellyfish. Too bad? Yeah. Okay. So I just want to make sure it's not your again. Oh, yes. Oh, you're on. Hey. Nice one, mate. Well done. Thank you. Jack. Is he? Do I get him behind you? No, he's a Jack. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, he's a Jack. Sorry. 
For whatever reason, today was finger mark day. We saw some barra and we had some shots at them, but we just couldn't seem to get them to commit or stick properly. But that's alright, we weren't too bothered because we knew there was going to be some pretty amazing barra fishing coming up, especially at Goose Creek. What happened? Good size, Jack, mate. The first day was a bit of a warm up on the jacks and finger mark, but the second day was the one that we were all really looking forward to. Goose Creek has a really special place in Australian fishing. I remember seeing videos of Rod Harrison taking Lefty Cray fishing up here many years ago and it just looks like the most spectacular fishery. It was certainly a pretty spectacular run along the coast up to the mouth of Goose Creek. It's a bit like Flathead. Yeah. yeah. Goose Creek is a surprisingly large system it goes for a long, long way right up into the freshwater billabongs. But we started out down towards the mouth in the saltwater section, fishing the runoff of some of the drains coming out into the main river. <clears throat> Get a hit? You had a follow then, Paul? Did I? Yep. I saw him following you. I think I'm over you now. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, the fish followed you across the sand from that uh, drop off on the other side. Any size? Uh, it wasn't huge. Again, I mm. let it go. So. Oh, there he is, yeah. you got him. There's your barra. Yes. Oh. <laughs> nice one, dropped it. You dropped him. Uh, yeah. Ah, he's gone. He's gone. Yeah, he's gone. Oh, no. He's been there taunting you for a while, that boy. Yes. Mm hmm. He may not be too happy. You reckon there's more than one? Well, oh, there should be. Got him to have a go at it at least. You did, you did. We just want to get one in the boat, mate. We just got to break the curse. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Once we break that, we're right. You'll find it'll, it'll, it'll all happen. It'll all happen then. Once you break the curse. We weren't finding too much happening in the lower section. So we started making our way up the river, hitting the obvious big drain mouths, creeks, and snags along the way. It doesn't pay to spend too much time in one place in this kind of a fishery, especially if you're not finding any action. So our guide Greg suggested we should keep moving and keep searching until we found active fish. Yep. 
Got him? Jason, yours, it's oh. fucking huge. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Fucking big barra, mate. That's a big barra. Do you see that? Yeah. Fuck. Come on. <laughs> That's twice now. Fuck. Got two big barra there. Mate, it was a big fish. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's getting up in the 80s. That bloke. Easy. Yeah, solid. Oh. That's Barra Buffett. Get over there now. You have to lure over there now. Quickly. He's over there working. Over there. I can see him. Can you? Yeah. Get the lure onto him. Straight away. Bang. Hit it. Go, Paul. Get in. Come on. Let's get this bloody fish. Where? Get it back out there, Will. Roin in quick and get it back straight out to him. Don't worry about dragging the lure along, Bank. If you're not near him, get that lure in and get back to him. Straight away, mate. If you get past him, get it back in and get it to him. If you can see him. It was time to start heading up the river, looking for the more freshwater reaches and billabongs. And the run up the river itself was absolutely spectacular. It's pretty fun, the way the guides throw the boats around and head up the river at, uh, at great speed. The scenery along the way was just magnificent. We saw water buffalo, eagles, the amazing floodplains surrounding the creek. It's truly one of the most spectacular fisheries that I've ever visited. You really feel like you're at the ends of the earth in some untouched Jurassic wilderness. It's an incredible place. And the fishing certainly did not disappoint. Oh, what? Yeah. Got him. Yeah. Nice. There's yes. Oh, man. There's your barrel. <coughs> well done. Let's get it in the boat. Yeah. Got him? Yeah. Yes. Woohoo! Yeah. Broke the drought. Broke the drought. Yes. Finally. Finally. We cast up to the lilies, like I said. <clears throat> Pull it through because you'll be by the time you get to the drop off, it, there's, a, there's a hit then, see that? Yep, yep, I'm on. You got him? Yep. There's a barrel. Oh, buggery drop it. <clears throat> Not too slow, like work your lure, work in. Uh, oh, no, he's only a little bugger. I don't know what that is, yeah. It was a little barra, a tiny barra. Yeah. So throw them right up in those lilies, up in the lilies. Yeah. Oh, Dave, oh, yeah. good one. Woo! Oh, oh, he's a good fish too, Dave. Yeah. Yep. Well, mate, there's a few over to the net. He's a big fish, this one. All right, it's a good barra. All right, get that rod down. Get that rod down when he jumps. Now get it yeah, up. Hold on. Now get it up. Get the rod up. Steer him over here, Dave. Pull him over here, mate. Lift the rod tip up. Lift your rod tip up. Up, up, up. Pull him up. Pull him up. So 
until I can see him. I can't hit him if I can't see him. Pull him up. Whoa, 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 back. It's a big fish, mate. It's a big fish. Let him up. Right. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> right. I want this one here too, mate. Righto. Get that bloke out. Hey, stop it. Dave's my friend. Yeah. <laughs> Same again, mate. Steer him up here. Yep. Yep. Right, there's your fish. Beautiful. Right, give me that one. I'll get that. Oh, yeah. Come on. Right, another big one, too. All right. <sighs> Any thumb grip, these guys? You can. I'm going to put the baby grips on this one and measure this. That's a big fish, too. Hold that, Dave. Hold your fish up, mate. Don't worry about that. Let's get this one in. Get a move Oh, sorry. sorry. Where's that hook of that floor? There we go. Come on, guys, we've got to move it. Yeah. Bring him over here. Get him up now. Pull him up. Pull him up. Get him up. Pull him up. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Lift him up. Lift him up. And now pull him into the net. All right. You've got to pull him into the net, mate. I can't do anything if you don't pull him in. Yeah. He's... I know he's bigger. That's better. Oh, yes. Woo! Hold him That's better. Woo! Hang All on. right. Hang beautiful, on. guys. That's unreal. All right. Now that's how we barrel fish. Woo! All right. We actually had a triple there. I should have kept him. Yeah, should have kept him, oh, yeah, for a triple hookup. Yeah. For a photo. Yeah. Right, let's go back and hit Awesome. There'll be more. There's no reason we can't pull 15, 20 of these off here. Yeah, make sure your hook's in, eh? Because otherwise you'll hook the lilies. <clears throat> Come on, mate. Cast up in there. Yeah. You got another one? Get him up in the drain, bud. Only a little one. <clears throat> you don't want the net? Uh, I think it's right. That's five. <clears throat> Just keep throwing straight up the middle. They're going to come out from the lilies. Or up from the drop off and hit you. So we don't have to throw, you know, we don't have to throw to any snag or anything. Most of them are like that, the drains up here. Yeah, There's only a little one. Yeah. I watched him. Did you? Yeah, he followed yeah. it out yeah. into the deep. Yeah, that's, that's what I said. Remember I said yesterday? They oh, will yeah. come out, they will follow you out to the boat up here. The net this one. Not huge, but. Six. Six in ten minutes. <laughs> there you go. You, who's yeah, that? Dave, Dave, you got one, Dave? Yeah. He's on? Yeah. Righto. Oh, Yeah, pull them in, we'll go up the buffalo drains. So you just you're in for an insane session of barrow fishing mode. Okay? Awesome. <clears throat> I, th I think any of these drains are gonna get a fire. Oh, hey, that water's coming off, mate. Yeah, you, ca you, ca you caught the day. Right eh? Pull them in guys. Rack them up. Rack them and stack them. Too much further. <clears throat> so these are the days where you're going to get your cricket scores. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We pull the good. Ones.
So, Steve, yep. another question has been answered. Does the boat upset them? <laughs> Not it, much. It can. Yeah, briefly. But... Got him? Okay. Tiny. In fact, I don't think it might be tarp or something. Uh-huh. That's a barrel. Isn't it? No, it's Oh, yeah. It is too. Oh, put him over live. <laughs> you want him? <laughs> no, I won't, but it's really hell. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the old Vinny. Oh, oh yeah. see him hit that. Oh, that's <laughs> good. Uh, yeah, you know, little one. Hang on. Get some line out there, mate. guys just trying to keep this boat in play <laughs> Should move, eh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just get that one in. Mm. Ooh, that's fifteen. All off this neck. Hey, hey, Mickey flipping spat it. <laughs> right out, let's boogie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got him? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right, you want to come down the back yeah. corner? So I'm going to put this chair up in the middle up there because it's really 
blocking our ability to operate. Yeah. You're right with that. Yeah, yeah. So I can move around here. Thank you. Sir. Right on. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Nice. That's a catfish. Oh, oh, right. Yeah, Yeah, I'm on. Right up, I'm the net. You can't wear your you might get the Is that like them flies? There he is, you got him. Oh, ah, dropped him. Got him. He's only a bobby, that one. Yeah. <clears throat> well, we should pull a lot of fish out of this one. We should. High rise. I know. Oh, I had it here. Yeah. So you gotta watch that wind, mate. You don't have to throw that far back. Too quick, mate. You don't have to. Yeah, oh, yeah, straight yeah, on. One. You got him. Yeah, you. Yeah. you get your lure off. Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. <clears throat> this is good here because the water's clear and you get to see a bit more action. She comes up, we'll whack her in the head in a minute. Yeah, coming up on the bow. So I'll give her, she's going to come straight to your fish, that girl. So, yeah. I'll whack her when she gets up here, she'll go away. Good old coming up on the bow here, looking to take our fish. <laughs> See how she goes. When you get a fish jumping, she'll come straight in for it. So be ready. Oh, yep, yeah. nice. Now watch out. Just when she sees that fish bunny bouncing around, she's a, she's a little bit scared of the boat now because she's been whacked. We don't let him into the boat. Yeah, yeah buddy. Yeah, he's a good. He's in good condition. Mm. What are you gonna do? Change flies. Just swirling on it, but they're not taking it. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah. See that, mate? Yeah. You're hardly turning the handle on the reel then. Yeah, it's real fun with Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Very slow. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do with something. You got one, Dad? Oh, yeah? yeah. Well, pull it. Give it a wolf. Give yeah. it in. Pull it. Come on. There you go. You're on a snag, I think. Yeah, it? yeah it's still got him. It's still got him. There you go. That's the way. Yeah. You can go. Uh, See, pull out, you get one, Dave? Yeah. yeah. Yep. There's the double hook up. You're not putting enough weight on them, Dave, still. Yeah, when you hook them, that's why they're getting off so easy, mate. Yeah, you're just not putting that. You got to just. That's it, Dave. That's about as far back as you want to go, mate. Yep. Yep, you got it. <laughs> it's bright, isn't it? Yeah. See where she went? Oh yeah. I think we'll probably have to move. She's going to spook them. It's a barra. It? Yeah, it's a little barra. So you want to try and throw in where there's clear water in amongst the lilies? Back in there? Yeah, you want them up the back. Whereas the frogs will go over the lilies. Make sure your hooks are in. The general thing with Saratoga too is that you will miss more than you hook. Yeah. <laughs> you do because they're so difficult. So what you want to do when, when there's no wind, you look for the lily flowers moving. Oh, 
Papa, the gurgler. I'll get a photo of him, mate. If you like, yep. There we go, guys. Beautiful Saratoga. He took a uh, surface gurgler, which was nice. I was starting to lose hope with on the surface popper, but um, there you go. All right. Yes, please. All right. Yep. There he goes. Beautiful. Thank you, mate. No worries. Hit you right at the boat. Frightened you then. I took my eyes off it. Yep. That's a barra? Tarpon. I'm picking up the tarpon. Come back off that thing. Oh, I can see a fish there. Can you? Following mine. Is it a barra? There you go, there's a swell. I've got him. In the size or not? Not huge. <coughs> Where is he? So I said a different colour now. Yeah. Is there in the silver mm. barra? I haven't got a photo with the barra yet. Um, well, that's <laughs> a bad we go one. For a bigger one? Yeah. Alright. Um, what about on the video with him? Oh yeah, I've got video of him. Yeah. <clears throat> got him! Good man. Is he the big fella? Oh, I dropped it. Fuck! Fuck! I was trying to get a bloody good hook set on him and he kept coming towards me. Get back out there. Get back out there. Jesus, he's hard to catch this bloke. Done the same thing the other day. So see how it's getting more run here. You want to be on this side of those, so throw into the... and be get ready because it'll wash them down pretty quick. Yep. Got one? Yep. Good man. Oh, you fucking dropped him again. Yeah, it was tiny. What was it? Oh. Damn. Mm. Anyway. <clears throat> 
That's all good. So I've just taken him off. So that's going to go down quick. What's on that? What friggin' hell was that? Maybe, I don't know. Yes! Oh. Any size, Steve? Yeah, it was easy. Sort of valley there. On your hook. Put me into a snag and busted me off. Yeah, that's all right. Time to go. All right. Time to head home. Goose Creek left a really big impression on me. It's an amazing place, and I sure hope that I get back there someday. Well, there we go, guys. That was Goose Creek. What a top day. Fantastic. We had such a great variety of fish. We got barra, we got Saratoga, we got uh, Jack's finger mark, tarpon, all kinds of stuff. Brilliant days fishing and just spectacular up there. What a magical creek. You know, we saw water buffalo and eagles. Oh, it was just amazing. Um, now, one of the things that happened early in this trip to me was two hours into my first day, unfortunately I snapped the tip on my premium nine weight rod. Um, luckily, I brought along a replacement rod. Now, look, any rods can break. You know, it happens to all of them. It doesn't matter how cheap or how expensive they are. They get a knock in the graphite, it forms a weakness, and after a while they just go. That's, that's the way of it, so I'll be able to get that replaced under warranty. But in the meantime, I bought along a cheapy um, replacement rod, and this is the South Pacific SX994. It's an Australian company. Um, I paid about 180 bucks for it. It's a, a nine weight, and I gotta say, it's not too bad. It's been fishing pretty well. It casts really, really nicely, and uh, obviously it hasn't got the sort of level of components and finish that the premium rods have got. But for the price that I got this for, you could buy eight of these for the same cost as a premium nine weight rod. So <laughs> it kind of puts things in perspective. I caught a lot of fish on this today. It cast beautifully, it performed really well. No complaints at all. So uh, yeah, 
if you're looking for a, a affordable entry-level fly rod that does the business check it out South Pacific SX pretty good <laughs> <laughs> that made a cameo appearance. Sorry. No worries. It's all good. You can put me in there if you want, but. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the day. See you next time.